So here I am, still making a video. It's 8.44. I turned on this heater, 400 watt, one side there, halogen heater. 6.30, it's now 8.45. And it is running off of my solar battery bank. Up the cat door outside. I've been running this, trying to do a load test. I tried doing the 800 watts off the inverter, but uh, it never let me, so... I had to go down to 400 watts, one half of the heater setting. I wanted to know how long it would run for and when it would cut out. The alarm came on at 11.1 volts and it's now at 10.6. I believe it's meant to cut out at 10.5 or 10.4, but we'll see. And I wanted to know what the duration was going to be for that test. This way in uh, ironing out any problems I have, I've uh, discovered one problem which might be the problem to why I can't run this heater at higher wattage, and that is that the uh, battery cable that I supplied it, which is a booster cable set that I hooked onto the back of the inverter. The negative side over here is quite warm, so that's telling me there's a resistance. A resistance and heat, which is a loss. But, failing that, I have run this thing for two hours and 15 minutes, which is one of the tests I wanted to find out was how long I could run my heater off my solar powered battery bank. So far it's from 6.30, so in a two, and a two hours and a bit, two hours 15 minutes, and if I don't keep opening and closing the door it actually seems kind of warm in here, kind of nice. Uh, running off of solar power. I'm basically standing here trying to essentially catch it as it cuts out. Uh, it should shut off at around 10.5, 10.4 volts, 10.4 uh, volts, uh, to protect the battery from over discharge. Then uh, the solar panels that I have hooked up to the batteries can then do their thing. Um, the other last little while I've been noticing that they've been at full charge, full charge, and uh, cut out for full charge, so they're actually not charging because they're fully charged. So I figured I would run this test to see how long I could run my halogen heater off of my battery bank, which is isn't all huge, but it is two full deep cycle batteries, so 95 amp hours each. And if I, just like most other people, I don't really know what that means. Fine. Happens to be Halloween. Alrighty, that was your excitement for the evening. Uh, we're at 10.6 volts. So we might cut out soon. We head back outside. Oops, there's one. That's my cat scooting by.
<laughs> Doesn't like fireworks. Gee, I wonder why. Anyways, my inverter is still screaming away as it has been for about an hour. Telling me that it's about to shut down. 10.6 volts. That's running off of my battery bank, which is the charge controller there. Yeah, it's nighttime, so it's not doing anything. My battery bank is inside. Two deep cycle batteries. And there it is. That was just the inverter cutting out. See, now it's going to go up in voltage because it's now reading the st static voltage, not the voltage under load. I can reset it, but it's just going in. So that was it. We are now off. Okay, shut it off. Test is over. The test is over. That halogen heater that was running all this time from 6.30 has now shut off at 8.50. Two hours and 20 minutes that I ran through the cat door that I ran this halogen heater. So now the test is over.